So Pokemon Go has announced more details about Pokemon Go Fest, not only at Osaka in Japan, in London and Great Britain, and then New York in the United States, but also what we can expect from the global Go Fest as well. Let's cover it all in some really nice infographics, and I'll give you guys my opinion. What's up guys, how you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We got details for Pokemon Go Fest for everywhere when it's going to happen. So let's go ahead and look at some really, really, really nice infographics made here by at Miko Graphics PE. Make sure you follow them on Twitter and we'll just kind of dive in here. So this is the global event. Um, I do recommend buying a global ticket for several reasons, but honestly, it probably has the most lit shinies out of all of them. As you can see here, the shiny debuts is East Sea and West Sea Shellos. Now, I will say, for completionists only, you only need to catch one of those shinies to complete the shiny decks, per se. You only need one, but I know a lot of people will try to get both of them. Shiny Gumi, that is the rare shiny dragon that will be coming out. The most rare shiny people are going to be going for. Um, will it be the rarest in Pokemon Go? No, it won't, and we'll go over that here in a second. Uh, with the other new exclusive shinies that will be coming out, but it's going to be top tier. You can get it before the community day that will happen next June. Then we have Joltik, a fantastic shiny, and Oranguru. Now, they've already given us a little sneak peek of what Pokemon we can expect from each habitat rotation, and they're pretty good. Heracross. Not only is Heracross huge because the shiny is extremely rare, the can getting candies for it's extremely hard to do. You'd have to feed either walk your buddy that you have now or just feed it rare candies. But also Mega Heracross is going to be a fantastic bug attacker and a fighting type as well. Will it be the best on either? That remains to be seen. That's a video for another day, but it's going to be really good. That's all there is to it. Um, Joltik, there it is in the Pyrite Sands, Oranguru, Roselia, there's Gumi and then Shellos for the Aquamarine, sh Aquamarine Shores, excuse me. Uh, Carbink is going to have a special uh, timed research. Carbink is also a video for another day because it's apparently going to break Great League and go Battle League. Um, of course, Deansa debut for ticket holders. 20 remote raids per day, that's pretty fantastic. We don't know what the raids are going to be, they're probably going to be pretty good. Uh, all Pokemon that appear in the wild during the first day of the event will also appear during event hours on the second day. There are no rotating habitat hours on the second day, so all these Pokemon may appear at any time. Fantastic idea. Fantastic idea. Mwah! Perfect. Good. Go out, hunt, have fun, get what you want, don't be time limited. Um, one hour lures, uh, and then special uh, research. Carbink, again, I, I suggest if you want to be really good in Great League PvP, farm those, and then you get snapshots as well. Now, let's continue the Global Go Fest. There's actually more. Here are the exclusive incense spawns for each habitat hour. You got uh, Hisuian Growlithe, Ponyard, Shiny, really rare. I bet a lot of people don't have that. Uh, a Pokemon that people might not have, Carnivine, and uh, definitely Pachirisu. So these are pretty nice to see. I'm thankful to have both of them. But really, really good choices. Seriously, they are. An unknown Shiny M is the debut, and I don't think any of these are necessarily new, but all of them being Shiny, it is going to be available. Now here's something that's interesting for ticket holders. It creates Shiny chance of encountering Pokemon. We knew that. Six special trades. Make sure you do those. Those are pivotal. There's Habitat themed challenges, up to nine free raids. Again, we don't really know what the raids are gonna be. And then special seven kilometer eggs, so that's actually gonna be pretty nice. Now let's move on to real world locations. I wanna say, yes, this is it, okay. So there isn't any more than what we know right now, so let's kinda go over each of these. Osaka's gonna have Heracross, Saviper, Pumpkaboo, Dupiter, with Dupiter having a new shiny. Same thing with Petlo and unknown exclamation point. Now there is a lot of really good and rare shinies in here. You got Spritzy, extremely rare. The Dene, extremely rare. Pet Little, it's gonna be new, it's rare. Cacti is still extremely rare. Uh, Heracross, obviously. Pumpkaboo is rare. Uh, Dupiter, new, extremely rare. Uh, Elgium is extremely rare. Uh, Cat's form, absolutely. Snorlax, some people still need that. The uh, Galarian form, Mr. Mime, extremely rare. Uh, Lucario will have a chance to only spawn in the wild during the volcanic island, but also be shiny. Yes, 
be shiny. Durant and the shiny, extremely rare. Surf gets kind of rare. And Aerodactyl is about 50-50 as far as rarity goes. But look at that shiny for Jupiter And uh, Petlil, kind of hard to tell. It's more yellow than it is green. Still pretty cool shiny. Um, Dancing debut, half it, half hatch distance. Uh, again, another six special trades. So that's 12 if you do an in-person and worldwide. Reduce Stardust cost for trades, nine passes, double up. Catch Candy. Now if we look at London, everything's the same as it was in Osaka. All habitat spawns are the same. Notice that Sigalith is there. Yes, so you get a chance to finally get your Sigalith. Um, but when we go to New York, things change quite a bit. And it, it is usually the United States one is the GoFest to go to. Um, Niantic is an American company. Uh, the spawns are fantastic because we have Arch in here, and I'm going to assume that Tortuga is going to be there as well. Those two are like top 10 rare shinies in the game right now because you can only exclusively hatch those, but these are going to be running around in the wild. Axu is not going to be that rare. We literally have Community Day coming up. Uh, Darumaka is still fairly rare, I would say. Uh, let's see, Aerodactyl again, it's like 50-50. Sableye, not so much. Chimeco, not too bad, pretty rare shiny. Uh, Golet and Scrub are the new shinies, and they are fantastic choices. Gola is a one of the best shinies in all of Pokemon for that matter. Uh, absolutely going to be coveted and of course it's going to be more accessible when Halloween comes out but to be fair it doesn't spawn that much in the tasks uh, that it comes in. Uh, they're not common either so Gola is still going to be an extremely rare shiny even after Halloween at the end of this year and I would agree with the Mask as well but it's still not as rare as I would say Chimeco. Um, there is a lot of fighting types in the athletic field one. That's kind of strange. Hopefully there's some rare shinies in there because none of these are really that rare at all. Uh, Poison Swamp, there's Skrelp. Scorpy's not really that rare. Venipede's pretty rare, I would say. It's up there. It, it's up in the higher tier of rarity. And Noibat's really not that rare either. So, uh, honestly, the other Osaka and London in-person events have more rarity when it comes to shinies. And personally, just me has more shinies that I need. I'll kind of go over them. Obviously, Jupiter and Petlil. Uh, I need Heracross. I need Cacnea. I need Dedenne. I need Spritzy. I need Galarian Mr. Mime. I wouldn't mind the uh, the Fog type cast form just to have it. Uh, I need an Elgem. I do. I don't think I need. I don't think I need that Durant. I might. I can't remember. But I need a lot more what Osaka and London gets than I do New York. But that can change. This is only a little snippet of what's going to be spawning in each of these. Literally just four Pokemon. I'm sure there's going to be like 12 to 15 unique Pokemon spawning in each hour, in each habitat. So um, I'm not terribly worried, but I am happy that two of the most rare shinies in the entire game, along with Archon and probably Tortuga, are going to be spawning there. So if I could nab all four of those, I'll call that successful New York once I'm there. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Honestly, the worldwide one is looking insane. Literally, one, two, three, four new shinies because these are the same uh, family. Four new shinies, four insanely good shinies, especially Gumi. And if you can just knock these out and get these, you are set. You just had yourself a good go fest. So let me know what you guys think about the new shinies, uh, the bonuses, and the habitats and the spawns in the comment section down below. Smash that like button if you haven't done so already, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.